The BMW 2 Series is a compact two-door luxury vehicle produced by BMW since 2013. The 2 Series has several different body styles. It is available as a compact coupe that replaces the 1 Series coupe or as a convertible model that replaces the 1 Series convertible in the BMW lineup. Today, I'm proudly to present to you the all-new 2015 BMW M235i convertible dressed beautifully in mineral gray metallic. The all-new BMW M235i convertible is the first open-top M performance automobile. This powerful convertible feature an inline six-cylinder twin power turbo engine with 320 horsepower and 330 pound-feet of torque, as well as an unmatched adrenaline rush, and can get from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 4.8 seconds. You are bound to feel the wind through your hair and your entire body. The convertible soft top of the BMW 2 Series can be opened and closed in about 20 seconds at the touch of a button. This function can even be operated when driving at speed up to 30 mph. Stylistically, the soft top comes in three different colors and conveys a feeling of lightness to add to the overall dynamic look of the vehicle. Finally, the soft top both optimized acoustic and enhanced soundproofing as a result of additional insulation in the fabric. Up front, the M235i features a pair of Xenon adaptive headlights with dynamic auto leveling. LED Corona headlight rings as well as LED daytime running lights are also integrated into the headlamp. The adaptive headlight follow the direction of the wheel as you round corners, which allow you to see more of the road sooner. High intensity retractable headlight washer and park assist are also built into the front bumper. In the middle is the signature BMW double kidney grille. At the bottom is the lower aerodynamic kit that gives the M235i a very aggressive stance. It also comes with intermittent rain sensing windshield wipers. This particular model comes with 18 inch M double spoke light alloy wheels with 225 40 Michelin Pilot Super Sport Performance tires. Behind the wheel is the set of four wheel ventilated brakes and the huge brake caliber for faster stopping. Brake caliber are painted in blue with M lettering on it. Body color side view mirror with integrated turn signal indicator. Rear wheels are also 18 inches and come staggering width with 245-35 performance tire as well. Behind the rear wheel is also the set of internally ventilated brakes as well as the brake caliber painted in blue. It also comes with 5-link fully independent rear suspension in lightweight steel and adaptive M suspension with electronically controlled damper exclusively tuned for the M235i model. To the back you quickly notice a pair of tail light with integrated LED brake light as well as turn signal light. The signature tail lights are very unique that you know it's a BMW if you ever see it during nighttime. At the bottom is the pair of round black tip exhaust with dual sound mode. Rear deflectors and park assist are also integrated into the rear bumper. Rear view camera is located above the license plate and will activate once the vehicle is in reverse. And there's the third LED brake light on the trunk lid. Okay, here I have the remote. On the remote, I have the unlock, lock, trunk release and panic button. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. The car does come equipped with smart access key system, so with the key in your pocket, just press the button located on the door handle once to lock. After a few seconds, place your hand behind the door handle to unlock. The exterior color is known as mineral gray metallic, featuring two-tone interior color with Oyster Dakota leather seat, black and Oyster Dakota leather on the door panel, black on the dash, 
and silver accenting trims all around. Very sporty looking interior. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. So with your foot on the brake, push the start button to start. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2015 M235i have to offer. Under the hood is a 3 liter BMW M Performance Twin Power Turbo Inline 6 cylinder. 24 valve combines a twin scroll turbocharger with variable valve control, double vanos and valve tronic, and high precision direct injection, auto start and stop functions, 8 speed sport automatic transmission with steering wheel mounted pedal shifter, driving dynamic control with Eco Pro, Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus. Pushing out 320 horsepower and 330 pound feet of torque can hit from 0 to 60 in about 4.8 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited at 130 miles per hour in the US. EPA estimated fuel economy is 21 city, 32 highway, and 25 combined. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. Here is a look at the driver's side door panel. It is all black with Oyster Dakota leather in the uh, middle. And beautiful white carbon fiber trims on the handle. All four windows are fully automatic. And there's the side view mirror control. And it does feature folded option. Harman Kardon surround sound speaker. And the storage compartment on the door with a cup holder. M235i aluminum door seal and there's the pedal trunk release button and the hood release lever and here is a closer look at the seat it does feature heated option now both front seats feature 10-way power adjustable front sport seat with 4-way power lumbar support Include two-way power adjustable side bolster, one-way manual headrest and thigh support, a memory system for driver's seat recall two-store position for exterior mirror and seat positions. The three-spoke design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather with M badging at the bottom and silver accenting trims in the middle. Looks and feels very nice. Featuring multi-function control side by side for your convenience with control for audio, voice command, cruise control as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Behind the steering wheel you have the up and down paddle shifter so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride. And there's the windshield wiper control. To the left you have the turn signal light control. And a closer look at the instrument cluster. Steering wheel does feature heated options and it does come with a manual tilt and telescopic steering column. To the left you have the driver side air vent with beautiful trims around it. There's the light control, instrument light control. And here's a closer look at the dash. 
Now, this particular model also comes with the upgraded option, the Harman Kardon surround sound system, which features 12 loudspeakers including 5 tweeters, 5 mid-range speakers, and 2 central bass speakers located under the front seat, all of which that will give you and your front passenger a great listening experience. Now, looking at the center stack, you see the large 6.5-inch color display with uh, shiny black trims around it. Under the screen, you have the uh, dual event with emergency hazard light and the uh, door lock button there's the multimedia control dual zone climate control it does feature heated options for both the uh, driver and the passenger seat down here you have the uh, small ashtray and a cigarette lighter dual cup holder and here's the gearbox with beautiful aluminum trims around it feels very nice in your hand now just press the unlock button and push up for reverse once you're in reverse side view mirror will tilt down and backup camera will automatically appear on the multimeter screen for a much easier backup pull it down for neutral and down again for drive over to the left for manual mode and that's when you can push it up or down to change gear or you can also use the uh, steering wheel mounted paddle shifter to change gear as well pretty easy and simple to use and just press P for park and to the left of the gearbox you have the parking on and off parking sensor on and off and here is the uh, different driving mode you have your Eco Comfort Sport Sport Plus and your traction on and off button. Very nice trims on the center console as well. And here's the uh, controller to your infotainment system. You can scroll the knob around to move around screen, or you can press down to select, or you can also move it to the right or left. There you have the audio, menu, telephone, back, and option. See on the menu screen you have multimedia, radio, telephone, contacts, connected drive, system, and vehicle settings and stuff like that. And so the uh, system is very responsive and it's very easy to use as you can see. You can just scroll the knob around to move around screen. very nice sound quality and here you have the uh, button to open and close the convertible top and like I mentioned uh, earlier the convertible soft top can be opened and closed within 20 seconds and you can also uh, operate it while driving at speed up up to uh, 30 miles per hour which is very convenient Okay, so here is a look at the outside with the convertible top up. And personally, I will not drive the car with the uh, convertible top up. I mean, if I'm gonna buy a convertible car, I will always have the convertible top down. And that's the whole purpose of buying a convertible car. Not because it doesn't look good. It's just, you know, a convertible car is meant to have the roof down so you can enjoy the wind. And it still look good with the top up or down regardless. So I'm gonna put the roof back down so I can show you guys the rest of the car. And as you can see, it doesn't take long to put it down at all. Okay, so here you have the uh, parking brake center storage compartment with a USB and auxiliary input beautiful trims on the dash as you can see glove box compartment and with the uh, trunk lock inside the compartment 
And here is a closer look at the seat. Very nice upholstery material. On top you have the light controlled. And the SOS button to use in case of an emergency. Rear view mirror with three button universal garage door opener. Sun visor mirror with a card holder. Okay, now let's take a look at the rear seat. There you have the button to slide the seat up and down and the uh, lever to tilt the seat so you can gain access to the uh, second row seat. Look like the rear seat of a sitting for two. And it doesn't look like it offer a lot of space in the back. But let me jump into the back seat and see how it is. But first let me show you the look to the front cabin. Down here you have the uh, dual air vent and the uh, 12 volt power plug. Alright, so this is how I look in the back. It is very tight in the back. So it is not recommend for an adult to be sitting in the back. Well, small kids will be okay. But the seat itself is very comfortable. Two cup holders. And to get out, just pull the lever and push it up to get out. Okay, now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer. So the trunk in the M235i convertible offer quite a bit of cargo space even with the top down. You get about 8.5 cubic feet of cargo space with the top down. Then you have the uh, 12 volt power plug in the back and the lever so you can fold the seats down so rear seats offer the uh, through loading rear seat for easier loading with longer object and this is how it looks from the back very convenient for a two door car and of course if you need more cargo space you can put the top up to get a little more cargo space so gas cap is located on the passenger side and it does require premium unleaded fuel only and holds approximately 13.7 gallons of fuel overall the 2015 BMW M235i convertible is one of BMW's first open top M performance vehicle, offering sitting for four. Although rear seating could be a little tight, but you don't want to buy this vehicle for the rear space room, you buy it for the style and performance. The front cabin though are spacious enough for any size adult to be comfortable, and this is how I look in the front, and it is very comfortable. It also offers great upholstery material and nicely aluminum trims all around. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the new 2015 BMW M235i convertible. Go ahead and leave us a comment letting everyone know what you think about the M235i convertible. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. And I'll see you guys next time.